Hey, today we're going to show you how we assemble the river rafting outpost kit from Iron Horse Hobbies, and we're going to show you right now. Hey, this is Brian with the Iron Horse Rooting Home of the Denver and Rio Grand Western and Iron Horse Hobbies, welcoming you to my video on the detailed assembly instructions for the river rafting outpost kit. This will work for any of the scales. Um, I recently uploaded a video on how I painted and assembled my river rafting outpost kit for my layout. And I'll put a card on the end screen for that video as well if you want to see that. But what this is, this is more of a detailed instructional video on how to assemble the kit itself. I'm um, not doing any painting, any, anything like that. This is just the assembly of the model itself. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stay in pick and pick. I'm going to flash you over. We'll look down at the desk. We'll talk about the model and we'll show you how we assemble it from here. All right, everybody, you are looking at a copy of the model here. And we have all of the pieces. And I'll go through them real quick. This is what you're getting. Uh, I have five doors. Um, I've got two doors. Uh, Three doors on the bottom, two doors on the top. Um, there's a double door at the main entrance. This is the top deck. And what I'll work on first, uh, I have to take my pin vise and just pop these holes open just a little bit. Uh, take off these screws. Um, you would probably want to paint before you did that. And uh, speaking of, um, if you are working with this model and I sent this to you in the normal wood filament, um, do not paint the inside of the model dark if you intend to paint the outside of the model light. This is not a large model and so the thickness of the walls um, could only be about two millimeters where I like them to be about two and a half or three just started to look boxy So I did opt to go ahead and make some slightly thinner walls and to make you aware of that um, So these posts will go in here um, I actually have Railings that can go between them that I'm working on They actually the railings can come here here and around here because here are your insides directly here. I've got this thing upside down because I've got slits cut here for your walls that are going to be up there on top close it out. Alright, we have your insert. I actually uh, doubled out the interior of this roof a little bit so you know exactly where the roof insert should fit. We have the stairs, we have the bottom base, and these are the beams for the bottom base. These stairs will only work with these beams. We could make some alterations if you wanted to get with me about that, though. Um, I have, for example, uh, there's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight outside exterior beams, and I think all my beams are eight different sizes because mine's in the rocks next to the river. Yours may be two, and if so, we would just need to get with you on some sizes, or I can send you uh, some multiples, um, so you can just play with them a bit. But if you change the height and the level, um, you're going to change your stairs too, so just keep that in mind. Alright, so what we'll do is we will put these in almost uh, as late as we can, because we want to put the model on a flat surface without these... Uh, um, beams. They're great. They look great, but they're not super, super sturdy. You can't put a lot of weight on them, of course, so we want to kind of put those in a little bit later, but we do want to make sure they're ready to fit before we assemble the model on top of it. All right, so you got uh, this one goes here, as you can see. And So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the accessories off. Alright, so here we go. We got this guy at the desk. This guy goes here. This guy goes here. This guy goes here. Here. 
this is nine, so this goes up to there. This is eight. This is five. All right, so what we'll do is we will put one and seven together first to get our corner going. We will then go to two, three, four, five, six. Seven's already connected to one. What you got now is you got this guy, number four, are tall enough to accept your second deck. Then eight and nine. Nine goes here, eight goes here. Alright. So what'll happen next is I'm gonna probably zoom you into a pretty fast time warp while I uh, clean these off and clean these off. And I'll, then I'll slow the speed down a little bit and I'll assemble the model and I'll come back to you near the end.
have it all together the bottom part seven one two three four five six right i usually adjust it for, to get it what i consider best it can be while it's drying a lot like that right there would have probably never shown, but there was a little under the room that I still wanted to touch it up. I'll just, while it's drying, and adjust it a little. We're using a fast drying glue. Get it right the first time. That's the problem with this, the uh, slower drying glue, that pieces can adjust a little on their own and you might not want them to. The CA, it sits where you put it. I think I'm told I've never used it. All right. So what we need to do now is um, I am going to stop the video because I let it dry here before I set the, uh, the top in, the second deck in. I like to let it dry. Before I set the second deck in, but we are back and we are dry and we're going to do the rest of this right here. It's not hard.
Finish up. Close in and put the pylons in the stairs on them. on or to focus on this I'm not going to use it dark brown got the doors on now now we just switch over and do the pylons
All right, everybody, so here we have the Iron Horse Hobbies River Rafting Outpost. It is completed except for the handrails and the white water rafts, which are printing now. So I figured I would show you our progress. And we'll be back in just a minute. The handrails and the rafts. Alrighty, now we are back here with handrails, as you see. Get those on. Edit this video and get it out to you guys. We are back and we have more handrails and if you hear something in the back before I go in time lapse, uh, that's Heath stream from Amherst train show. I've uh, got to keep it going because when he gets a minute, he's going to sit down and tell me what he got. And so uh, show me what he has to do. So I need to keep an ear out. I'm going to put you in time lapse though because this is a lengthy process. I haven't shown you all these yet. These are the white water rafts. They're going to go on this model as well. You'll see more of that soon. Um,
All right, everybody, we are looking at a completed version of the Iron Horse Hobbies River Rafting Outpost Kit. This is an N scale copy. I can do it in H, O, or Z. I might even be able to do this one in a larger scale. Uh, have to see. I'd have to do some measurements and check. All right, so what we're going to do next before we say goodbye, I'm going to try to find some good light and I'm going to show you some photos of this up close. Thank you. 